and Merry Christmas! Welcome to Conquer Crochet, my name is Karen Stangroom. In this video I just wanted to show you what I received in the two advent calendars that I bought this year. I didn't want to show them to you before in case you'd already ordered them and I didn't want to spoil any surprises for anybody, but certainly something to keep note of next year. So I've seen a few different advent calendars for crochets and knitters. Um, lots of them have been yarn uh, advent calendars and I haven't tried one of those maybe I will try one of those next year if you have any that you can suggest and recommend please pop a comment below so that we can all see them and I can have a look and see which one I might want to try next year and to do a review on those uh, so the two advent calendars I bought this year were both stitch marker advent calendars um, I know we don't necessarily need the shiny sparkly things but it's really nice to have the shiny sparkly things so the first one I ordered was from Gretel Creates and the lovely Seanette. I needed to support another Welsh girl. You go girl. Uh, really lovely presentation of this box. Really like the different coloured envelopes. I love the stickers with the different pictures on them. Uh, and I really like the box and the tissue paper and it was um, letterbox size so it went through the letterbox. So brilliant. Didn't need to wait in. Didn't need to go to the post office to pick it up. So so far tick 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 tick. So let's have a look at what we opened on each day. So when you open it up, you get a lovely little card. It says with love and then on the back, thank you for ordering our advent calendar. I hope you love it as much as I love putting it together. Sean Ed, with a nice little smiley face. Thank you Sean Ed, looking forward to this. Okay, so what happens? We've got lovely little stickers and some washi tapes, all nicely done. Let's undo stickers as gently as we can and the washi tape and on that side and let's see what we have inside. Oh very sweet. Okay so it looks like we have lots of little envelopes obviously with the days on. So we've got all the different days up to 24, I believe it is. And they've all got different little number stickers on them, which is really sweet. And then there's an extra special present to open on Christmas Day. I wonder what that will be. Stop feeling, stop feeling. That one's going to go into my Christmas tree and I will reveal that one after Christmas, I think. So really exciting. What I think I'm going to do is get um, some string and I'm going to thread the string through the top of the envelopes here and then I can hang them up and just tear off each one as the day comes around. So this is Gretel Creates. I'm really excited for Christmas.
Today is Christmas Day and I have my final parcel. This is my Christmas present from Sean Ed at Gretel Creates. Beautiful bag that it's wrapped in. Really clever idea. Really nice um, sticker on there. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I like the fact that everything, all the packaging and everything that this has come in has, um, it can be recycled. So that is great. I really like that. So let's see what's inside our Christmas present. Just a little bit excited here. So let me just zoom out a little bit just so that we can see. Right, carefully peeling back that sticker again. Do, 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 do. Okay, now I might do this bit by bit. I think there might be more than one thing in here. I'm not 100% sure. Oh gosh, yes, there is. There is loads in here. Right, okay. I'm going to pull things out one at a time. So, we have an electronic stitch marker. If you saw my uh, video for um, my top gifts for 2020 for crochets these were on there this is brilliant I don't have a white one so that's really cool like that so I can crochet along and I can just hit my button as I go along so that's fabulous thank you very much Sean Ed I like that you just reset it okay next oh these are lovely so a nice key ring with some uh, crochet hooks on them. We've got a 5mm, a 3mm and a 4mm. Nice colours, I like those. Really handy if you're out and about and you just want to crochet something. Not sure I'd want to do a big project with them because I think that might get annoying after a while. But um, really handy if you're just sort of sitting waiting and you just happen to have a bit of thread with you and you can whilst you're doing uh, mum's taxi or dad's taxi. So there we go, we have our crochet hooks. Don't have this out of the picture too much. Right, let's see what's next. Gretel creates. Oh, oh wow. It's uh, some washi tape, which has little crocheted hats, um, some skeins of yarn, and balls, little crochet hooks, some mittens. That's really lovely. I like that. So this is Gretel Creates, where this has come from. Fabulous. Lovely. Right. On to the next one. I don't know what to go for next. Okay, I'm going to go for this one, which is the tape measure. And again, I showed um, tape measures like this in my 2020 gifts for crocheters. So you can pull out your tape measure and you have a little button there Whoop! and that whips it all back in together. So that's a lovely nice bright colour, I like that. Lovely jingle, I'm not sure there's going to be room for you soon, let's just move you to the side a little bit. There we go, have a little jingle. Good, right. Next we have this lovely little tube which has uh, yarn needles in it. We've got three yarn needles, different lengths and thicknesses which is really useful and these are great if you are travelling um, when you're allowed to go on aeroplanes um, when you're travelling around they don't tend to like you taking the metal ones on board um, but the plastic ones are usually okay obviously check with your airline before you travel but they are really useful to have that is fabulous thank you very much oh I get that lovely warm fuzzy feeling what we've got here Oh, lovely little cute pussycat uh, on top of a ball of yarn and this is whoops and this is a nice fine black pen which is really nice if you're wanting to do this very delicate writing I like that so we've got this lovely pen there so just get the lid back in there we go and next ah so I don't know if any of you have ever tried um, latch hook rug making where you insert and you pull through and this little bit comes down so that's really cool. Oh does this undo? Is it meant to undo? No it's not meant to undo. 
So that's really cool. And you can use them if you're doing um, crocheting as well, if you're wanting to like pull something through, pull a, a stitch through or pull um, weaving your ends through, you could use one of these as well. So that's really lovely. Thank you very much. And finally, there's another envelope. Gosh, right. I wonder what's in here. Could well be some more stitch markers. So let's have a little look. So we have... Oops, I don't want to rip the, um, the stickers. Okay, let's pull that one gently that way. Okay, I'm going to show you these one at a time. Right, okay, so the first one we have is a gorgeous little penguin. Again, it's another lovely enamel one. And it's a penguin who seems to have uh, a swimming aid ring around him. So that's quite fun for the summer and the winter. So I like that one. Lovely. Thank you very much. The next one is a lovely sparkly ball. I don't know if it's going to pick up on the camera how sparkly that is. Might well do. It's clashing with my nails at the moment. They're, they're fighting for the glitter. There we go. It's that one. Then we have a little cat inside a light bulb so he's very sweet as well I like that one and next we have oh that's nice I like that one so I'm not sure they, these look like hibiscus flowers which would actually look rather nice um, with the, the the tropical leaf that we had in our little envelopes if you were doing a little tropical project I'm not sure if that one's picking up to block some of the light coming into it there we go that one's lovely too thank you very much next we have a little pin badge again so you just pull the backs off whoops pull the backs off these I can't get it off right now and that is a heart shaped ball of yarn so that's fabulous love that I love pins my denim jacket's covered in them and sort of weighs down on one side. I need to start on the other side. And maybe I'll start with my tape measure and with my heart one here. And the next one, oh, another tropical themed one. So we've got a little cactus here. So you could actually put these together as a little set if you were wanting to make a little project that had a tropical theme. So that's great. Love that one. And the last one is another little disc that has little planets because frankly my crochet is out of this world <laughs> so there we have so that's one two three four five six stitch markers here plus the washi tape the crochet hooks the yarn needles the pen for writing my fabulous patterns my latch hook uh, my electronic tally counter and the tape measure so that is really lovely. So the second advent calendar which I purchased is from Mrs G Makes. Uh, I've also shared Mrs G's work before. If you check out this video here, I'll link it in the descriptions below. I showed you some of the lovely things that, that she sells in her shop. So let's see what was inside the advent calendar from Mrs G Makes. So this is the Mrs G Makes Advent Calendar. It came in a lovely red box, very Christmassy. And actually the packaging that it came in was all sort of snowflakey and red and shiny and gorgeous. So this is Mrs G Makes Advent Calendar 2020. I've already cut the sides so that I can open it easily for you. And inside we get a lovely letter from the lovely Amanda. So it starts off with a lovely little project bag. Just remove the, uh, the pricing. So a lovely little project bag here. Nice size. The Mrs G makes super duper stitch marker Christmas advent calendar 2020. And then let's see what's inside. Ooh. Okay, so we have all our little envelopes with the stitch markers in. Oh, day one's a big one. We'll come to that one in a minute. And then we have a little bag here, which doesn't have a number on it. And I know that I'm allowed to open this one early, so that's okay. 
And inside here, I have a little string and lots of little mini pegs for hanging up my advent calendar. So let's go and hang it up. So if you've ever had a crochet or a knit related advent calendar, please let me know in the descriptions below where you got it from, a little bit of advertising for them, but also to let me know what it is that you had and I can have a look myself and maybe purchase one and do a review for next Christmas. And if you're enjoying this video, please give it a Christmas thumbs up and don't forget to smash that subscribe and hit the bell and do all those other lovely things that you do on a YouTube video. It really helps us and it'll be a lovely Christmas present for me. Thank you. And there are two other videos on screen now to help you on your crochet journey. I will see you over there. Thank you so much for joining me on this one and happy Christmas hooking!